Hi, this is Robert at Max Guitar Store. I want to tell you something about Two Rock amps. Two Rock is an American made uh, guitar amp, full tube of course, uh, made famous by John Mayer for instance. Uh, this is the, the example, this is Studio Pro 22. Uh, there are four models uh, in the Studio Pro line. The 22 watt head and combo and of course the 35 watt head and combo. Uh, the mistake is often made that people want a 35 because they think 22 is not nearly in loud enough. But if I if I would turn this all the way up, you would really be amazed how loud this is. So don't be fooled by the size. But actually, six features of these um, amps uh, make them very special. Uh, they are not extreme amps, so they are very subtle amps. So if you look for a lot of overdrive or gain, it's not going to be there. It's very subtle, but it's all about tone. So these amps are about making a good basic sound uh, that can vary from very clean uh, to jazz to funk to blues and even uh, rock. Uh, the six features are, and I will tell you about them uh, a little bit later on, the treble knob here which has a bright switch which um, turns out to be very precise and very handy. Of course the combination of the gain and the master uh, which is very subtle in this case. The send and reverb uh, which uh, of course it's an effect loop but also doubles as a, as a reverb. Uh, I'll tell you more about that later. The contour knob. Uh, the contour uh, shapes your sound more or less. Of course it's all about finesse here. And then there are two um, functions on the side. Okay, the two remaining features are uh, on the back here. One uh, is a volume knob that controls, uh, actually it's a return volume or your power amp volume. Which also has a bright function, so of course uh, very self-explanatory. <laughs> all the way down, so it sort of works like a power scaling, let's say. And then there is a right knob. So to control the total volume, and then here, uh, which is the most important thing, there's a loading knob, and it has five positions, and it sends a load to your pickups, making them less introvert or more introvert. When it's fully anti-clockwise like now, it's, uh, it's totally open. And there's no load. If I turn it clockwise... Uh, the amp sends a load to my pickups and it sort of gets more introvert, more like a humbucker, let's say. So if you have single coils and you want to match, uh, let's say, a humbucker guitar, you can find one of these uh, clockwise positions and make it sound more or less the same so you can sort of match your guitar to your amp which is a very uh, neat feature I think. So these are the six functions and I will go into, uh, into them a little bit more. Okay, so the six functions that I just described um, they work well together and this is the secret actually of the uh, two rock amps because uh, as you can see uh, it doesn't look like, uh, like a very complicated amp but the thing is that these six features make sure that you can tweak your sound exactly like you want it. So we start with the uh, with the treble. This treble function has a bright uh, switch. And that makes it you know, much more bright and it, it just, uh, let's say, changes that spectrum or that part of the sound that really defines your brightness. the gain. <coughs> um, when we uh, have the position here, the gain low and the master high, you have a very nice clean open sound. If you turn the gain uh, clockwise of course and the master low, you will never get a very high gain sound but a very nice crispy crunchy sound. for a very large range of volume. Okay, then there's the send and reverb, uh, send and return for the reverb. This one. Uh, the nice thing about this is that you can actually control the amount of signal that is sent to the reverb. So if you keep the send low and the return high, you get a very open, clean reverb. Put the send on 8 or 9 and the return low, 
Of course, the signal is much uh, stronger that goes there, and it uh, gives a more gritty sort of reverb. Like an old Fender noisy reverb. Not very subtle. <clears throat> Also, of course, usable for your normal effects. And then there's the contour, <coughs> which goes from very introverted to very extroverted. And of course, the uh, knobs that I described on the back, uh, the let's say the master volume goes from zero. This is, of course, for live situations, very uh, very handy. And of course, uh, these interact. So if you use the gain, the master, and the let's say the super master, or how you, let's say the return of your power amp, you can create a very large array of sounds just using your uh, volume controls. And of course, uh, the mid, bass, and treble <coughs> they work like any other amp. So we just put them in the middle positions. Uh, and of course, the largest um, effect has the, uh, the the knob on the back, the load knob which goes from very introvert, sending a large load to your pickups, like a very jazzy sort of sound, like this, to very open and direct. larger volumes that we don't use here in the shop, um, you get an enormous amount of nice harmonic feedback. So it's never shrill, it's never, let's say, uh, ugly. It's always very nice, very full. So that's that's actually the secret of Two Rock uh, for me. Uh, they're very compact, so if you take them, uh, you can take them anywhere. They're not very light, but uh, you can take them anywhere and uh, build a sound that uh, everybody will be uh, sort of jealous of. So if you want to try these Two Rocks, um, we get them in every month. Come and check them out at Mex Guitar. <laughs>